Welcome back to another episode of History Bodied. We focus on the most interesting questions and topics surrounding the world that we live in. Subscribe to the channel now and become part of the community so you never miss any of our latest uploads. Today we'll be diving deep into the fascinating history of Botswana. Let's begin. Humans have inhabited Botswana since the dawn of modern humans about 100,000 years ago. In Southern Africa, the Republic of Botswana in Southern Africa was once a British protectorate, but is now an independent country with a stable democracy. Botswana is a young nation, having achieved independence only just six decades ago, trailing behind a history of unsympathetic British colonization, conflicts between tribal enclaves, and disturbing migrations by ethnic groups on the Boers. Botswana is a landlocked and arid country. Bordering South Africa, Zimbabwe, Namibia, and Zambia, it is 224,607 square miles, about the same size as France. Two-thirds of the country comprises the Kalahari Desert, which is covered with grasses and scrub but has scarce surface water. Botswana also has an economic success story, rising from its status as one of the world's poorest countries to the middle income level, with sound financial institutions and plans to reinvest its natural resource income. The earliest inhabitants of Botswana were Stone Age hunter-gatherers. Some hunters carried on their simple way of life until the 20th century. However, in the years before Christ was born, some converted to a pastoral way of life. Then after 500 AD Bantu speaking, people migrated to Botswana. The San and Khoi peoples were the original inhabitants of this area in South Africa. They lived as hunter-gatherers and spoke Khoisan languages, noted for their click consonants. In the early 19th century, Botswana was plunged into a series of wars known as the Defakane. As a result, there were great migrations of refugees. However, in the 1840s, the order returned. Separate advisory councils of Africans and Europeans were established in the protectorate, and the tribal rule and powers were further developed and regularized. Meanwhile, South Africa elected a nationalist government. Later on, the European African Advisory Council was formed in 1951, and a constitution established a consultative legislative council in 1961. In that year, South Africa withdrew from the British Commonwealth. Independence was secured peacefully by Botswana in June 1964. They established a constitution in 1965 and held general elections to finalize independence in 1966. The first president was Suretsi Kama, who was a prominent figure in the independence movement. The Great Zimbabwe Empire extended into eastern Botswana a thousand years ago, and more groups migrated into the Transvaal. The area's major ethnic group is the Botswana, who were herders and farmers living in tribal groups. There were more extensive migrations into Botswana of these people from South Africa during the Zulu Wars of the early 1800s. Botswana culture is essentially what the country is known for today democratic, racial harmony, stable, humble and welcoming people, and independence. Botswana citizens are a proud, strong people, with a sense of unity linking them all to their country's democratic and peaceful development. The national language of Botswana is Setswana, and English is used in the office. With citizens being identified as Botswana, Setswana is generally used and preferred for communication. Every one of the many ethnic cultures in Botswana has its heritage of myths, legends, rituals, values, and traditional artistic norms. Poetry is considered one of the premier cultural arts and is alive and well in 21st century Botswana. The entire country celebrates its diversity on the annual Botswana Culture Day. The President's Day also involves local art and craft contests, with the winners competing in national finals. Most Botswana are Christians of one form or another, although some still follow local practices. Small communities of Muslims, Hindus, and Baha'is are present. Many local Christian churches recognize older local religious practices and beliefs, including the influences of ancestors in people's lives, often focusing on healing and promoting well-being. Many people who belong to a Christian church will also conduct private family ancestor rites to protect a new compound or house or when repeated illness and misfortune afflicts family members. Today Botswana is developing rapidly. Today the population of Botswana is 2.2 million. Botswana is home to the world's largest diamond mine, and its leaders are wary of overdependence on a single industry. That brings us to the end of today's video, all about Botswana. 